with the mural, the, the whole motivation of doing it was that I came across this poem, Black Anzac, and that touched on the fact that Aboriginal Anzacs hadn't been recognised before. I'd never heard about them at school during studies of World War I or World War II. Those men fought for a nation that did not even fully recognise their rights and status as human beings, let alone citizens. Yet their love of land went ahead of any flag or crown, and they went forth as proud warriors. That makes their unselfishness and sacrifice even more remarkable. It's not only about, you know, the colour digger marching here, but it also fits into our national story of what we want to do for all of our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander diggers. When I saw it for the first time just recently, I, I thought, wow. And I thought, that's terrific. And of course, as we came in that march and turning the corner there, it was just so appropriate. It was just such a wonderful, strong statement. To share that history and to share that culture with so many non-Indigenous Australians, I think is important. Other people are starting to notice that there's so much more in our Indigenous culture. God of our dreaming, God of today, help us never to forget as all the people of Australia become aware of the contribution of our Aboriginal people and the Torres Strait Islanders, may they be remembered with dignity and pride. That's the original image, That's the original image. Put that mural, that photo of my uncle up there for that purpose. To be recognised for all Aboriginals who went to Port and War.